In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create a badge for your event or conference that could look something like this, all using Airtable. So in this video, we are assuming that you've already been using Airtable to build out your EMS for your event. If you haven't, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, which is constantly growing with new videos on how you can use Airtables as well as other platforms to add rocket fuel to your event organizing processes. Okay, so here what we're going to do is design a badge that you can provide to your printer to be printed out. And it's going to use the data that is inside of here in Airtable. So we can see here we have our paid users here. These are our paid attendees. We have some types here of speaker, sponsor, attendee, etc. Uh, we have some ticket IDs that we generated and we've got some generic information on them. Now let's take a look at this particular um, ticket. Let's pop this full screen and we can see that this could be used either as a ticket or as one of those lapel badges. And this is actually um, formatted with a custom size that will work for the printers. This was actually one that we did for last year and we're changing the date on this. So you can see here we have our logo. We have a really nice background. We've got the speaker type here with a, again, branded background color. And we have the name um, and the company f where that person is from. So let's take a look at the actual ticket itself. If I edit this layout, we can now see the page designer inside of Airtable. And I can click on each one of these elements and you can see that we're pulling in a logo here. If I click on this element here, you can see we're pulling in a background. You can see here that this is text and so on and so forth. So I would like to build this from scratch so that you can see how this was built. So let's go ahead, close that and add a new page to this base. So the data set that we want to pull from is the attendees list. And we can see here we have multiple sizes. Now we want a custom size that our printer has dictated, which is 1,180 1, by 900 pixels. Let's just edit that. So this gives us our card size and we can press done. Now here you can see if I was to edit the layout, <clears throat> Excuse me. I can now start to drag in all of these elements. The first thing I want to do, though, is remove this name because it's not needed straight away. And I want to drag in an image which will be our overall background layer. So let's resize this to fill most of the screen. And then I'm going to grab the URL of the image we have hosted. So I've copied the URL of the high resolution image that I have, and then I'm setting here the width and the height of this image so that it will fill the space I want it to fill. Next, I want to drag in the logo. So let's put another image over the top of that and we'll paste in the URL of the logo. And then we can resize this manually if we wish, or we can put in the specific sizes so that we can place this, <coughs> excuse me, in a way that looks nice and gives us plenty of space. Next, we want to work on the type. So that's the label that's going to appear down here. So let's drag in the type and that's going to show us the type of a ticket this is or the type of attendee etc so you can see here on the left we have all of our formatting we can see the data which is speaker but we want to now match the font of this particular event which is rubik and then we're going to increase the font padding and let's give this a text size of say 100 so if we take a look at this and i drag this out you can see um, how big this gets Next, what we want to do is to drag this out so that it full, uh, fills the full width of this particular area. And then we want to center align the text as well as vertically align the text. And then what we want to do is change the background color so that the text is visible. And this is a higher layer over the top. So let's paste in the correct color code. I'm just going to go here and I will be pasting in the color code from our designer. Then what you can do is, again, just give this a visual look to see how this will look and then drag it down accordingly to the bottom of your screen. And it will always snap to the grid. So now we have our uh, our general overlay. We have our title. We have our speaker. Next, perhaps we want to put in the speaker, sorry, the ticket ID. 
down at the bottom. So let's drag in ID over here and we'll put this down to the bottom right of the ticket area. We're going to say that we want this to be positioned vertically at the bottom. We want the text to appear on the right. We want the color of the text to be, let's say, gray because um, it's still important information, but we don't need it to be 100% visible. We'll set this again to Rubik, and let's give this a font size of around 50, and we can visually change that as well. Let's let's change that to 60, and we can give it a stronger weight as well, so it's visible. So let's now add a couple of labels for the name. I'm going to add a label for name, and let's again select the font for this event. Let's give this a size of uh, 40, and give it a color of white so that it's visible. There we go. And then I would say I want that to be bold as well. So I'll give that a font weight of 700. So I'm dragging that there and then I'm going to go ahead and drag the name field so that that will pull in the name field. As with anything, I want to make sure that I am matching the brand, so I'm grabbing the font. Um, I'm going to increase the size of the name. We're going to give the color um, white here and then let's drag this out so that we can see it. So if I drag this underneath and align it with the name, what I can now do is duplicate this label field. So if I just press duplicate element and then I can drag this down here and I can change this to company. And then I can go ahead and drag in the company field as well, which again is going to pull from the database. And as with anything, we want to go through and make sure that we're matching the brand so that we have that consistency so things look good um, in all sizes. Let's double check. We've got size 80 there, so let's change this to 80 as well. And then we can drag that underneath so it is in line. Okay, so we have essentially here got a ticket a uh, later uh, design or a badge label design that is ready to rock and roll for agency transformation live 2020 and if we go through the records you can see that this changes according to the data that we have available. So ticket 15 is a speaker ticket for Lee Jackson from Event Engine. Tim Davis from Event Engine is a sponsor. Uh, uh, ticket number 16. And then we also have Larissa Meikle from Angle Crown. She's an attendee. Ticket 17. And obviously this would represent all of the data that you have. And then you can simply export all of these either as PDF you, um, or uh, you could print them directly to a printer if you already have a high quality printer at your event. Now there are a couple of ways that you could do this for printing. If you want to pass this on to a print run, then if we go ahead and click on print here, we can either print the current record. So if I hit print and I can use the PDF generation tool here, then we can see a PDF of this one particular um, badge. But also what we can do is if I go ahead and hit print, go to records in a specific view, then I could filter this view. I could create multiple views and have, say, just all the speaker badges or all the attendee badges or just simply print everything. And then I can say print all records in this view, which is all the tickets, one per page, best quality, etc., whatever I want to select for this to go to the print run. And then I can press print and then use the uh, PDF generation tool here to see all these, save it as a PDF and then send that over to the printers. Obviously, if you're using a high res printer at the event, then you can do one ticket at a time or you can do all of the tickets, etc. Let's just zoom this out so we can see all of the badges slash tickets that are available in this PDF that have been pulled from the data. So if you have any questions, then please do hit us up in the comments. We will do our best to help. Please be sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for more great content like this, showing you how you can use Airtables and other awesome tools to build out an EMS that really works for your events. Alrighty, we'll see you next time.